Moms are really cool individuals. They love, they care. And for me, Mines watches every YouTube video. I put out so many videos a month and my mom watches all of them. And whenever I curse, stop the show. She'd be like, boy, I raised you better than that. What you doing talking like that on YouTube, girl? Wait till you get back to California. But that's how it is. But unfortunately, not every mom out there is as good as mine. Stop the show or as good looking because you know I'm sexy. So can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Yeah, she gotta be beautiful to have somebody good looking as me. Rewind demo. Speaking of bad moms, you know, it, it typically happens like that on the internet, you know, because, you know, women get so much praise for building communities and all kind of crazy stuff, right? But now I wanna talk about this one case where this woman, yes, she left her kids at home while she went to a vacation <laughs> in Germany. I know you don't believe it. Play that clip. It's sentencing day for the mom accused of leaving her four kids home alone while she went on a European vacation. Aaron Mack faced up to eight years in prison for child endangerment. The 31-year-old mom jetted off to Germany last year. She posted photos of herself having a grand old time. Here she is beaming as she poses by the Danube. And there she is with a friend in Bavaria. She even took a photo of bratwurst and sauerkraut, a local delicacy. When Mac faced the music in a Des Moines, Iowa courtroom, she didn't have much to say. I do genuinely apologize for using your time, the court's time, and the situation that we are in at this time. Her twins were 12 years old, her two daughters just seven and six. But Mac's ex-husband, ex Matthew, Matthew, gave a victim's impact statement in court. When contacted and advised the police had taken her children, she did not return to the country for six days. And also spoke to Inside Edition. In my eyes, it was a clear, uh, deliberate, intentional act. Um, she has no excuse for. How angry are you about this? I'm really angry, but I wish I could say I was surprised, but I'm not. Her actions prompted headlines like, America's worst mom? At her sentencing, the judge gave her a break, two years probation. Have you ever been on probation or parole before? No. Her ex isn't letting her off easy. He says she should have gotten jail time. If she wants to go on vacation, more power to her. But you got a responsibility as a mother first. Erin Mack hasn't been allowed to see her children since her arrest. The judge recommended that she receive counseling before being allowed to reestablish contact with her children. Oh, yes. What a good, responsible mom she was. I mean, that's booty clapping sounds. That's the kind of lady I'm looking to have babies with. And you know, I'm just going to be selling out, you know, get me a Karen. <laughs> right. That seems like as soon as she got out of jail, I'm going to call her up. Um, But also, there's another good mother out here that we want to talk about today. See, I want to introduce to you Alicia Moore. Um, beautiful young lady, as you can see. She loves her kids so much. She's willing to leave them in the car while she goes inside of the mall to shoplift. I mean, that's, <laughs> give a round of applause. I mean, if that's not love, I don't know what is, but let's play this clip to get more information about Alicia. There's a car, um, I don't know, somehow is on fire outside in the parking lot at Dillard's um, and there's two kids and a mom. We now have the 911 calls from this car fire at the Oviedo Mall. A mother is accused of leaving her two young children inside while she was shoplifting. And on top of that, police say that car was stolen. Yeah, you can see the video behind us. The fire starts inside the car, of course, and that inferno grows fast. It actually blows the windows out. And Fox 35's Connor Hansen joins us live from the mall today. So, Connor, you've been listening to all these 911 calls. What have you heard so far? Well, John, all of those callers, obviously very alarmed to see such a huge fire that close to the Dillards behind me. Luckily, somebody was able to get to those two kids before things got much worse. And now it's those children's mother who is inside the store at the time who's facing an arson charge. Now, the camera on a nearby car in this parking lot caught a close-up view of that sedan going up in flames. Police say a two- and four-year-old were left in the car for up to an hour while their mother went inside 
allegedly to shoplift. We're told one of the children was able to open one of the car doors, and that's when a good Samaritan saw them and got them out. The kids were okay but had minor burns. When the mother, Alicia Moore, went to the hospital with the two kids, police realized she had warrants for other crimes. Now she's also being charged with child neglect and arson. She's being charged with the arson because she did leave the kids alone in the car with some sort of uh, lighter matches. I don't know what it was that set the car on fire, but the children are her responsibilities. Now the state fire marshal is still working to find out exactly what started that fire. Reporting live in a video, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. So guys, you heard that. See, here, here's what we're not talking about. She left her car, kids in the car. Okay. Now, when the car became engulfed in flames, other people had to rush while the mom was inside the mall shoplifting with another man who was not identified. And this is something that a lot of people don't want to talk about, right? A lot of times you will find women with kids neglect their kids for a no good man. It's crazy. I have a homeboy. Um, he used to tell me this about what he disliked about his mom. His mom would be in love with no good guys. Now it's crazy. Whenever they come across a good guy, their kids come first. When it comes across a guy who's no good, a Pookie and Ray Ray, that, that guy will get the best of the food. That guy will get the best of the juices and the kids will be secondary. So this guy must've been booty clapping himself. <laughs> he must've been tearing that, at, tearing that ass up because again, you know, she was in there shoplifting while her kids were in the car almost about to burn up. Now, we, 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 we saw that the kids were taken to the hospital with some of them had first degree burns. But you know what? When she came into the hospital um, to, to, to find the kids, guess what? They found out that she had prior warrants out for her arrest. You see, this is some of the stuff that we don't talk about when it comes to these so-called quote unquote moms, right? Now, I'm not saying that every mother is a criminal. I'm definitely not implying that. But I will say that there are many kids coming up in unsafe environments that we just don't talk about. We don't know about. And I used to see it coming up and I saw exactly how a lot of these kids end up growing up to become adults. They had no systems of doing things. They had problems getting along with other people. But something was off. You know, it wasn't always the case, but usually it was something that was off. And you always wondered, why is this kid like this? You know, why is the, 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 the boy like that? Why is the young lady like that? And then all you had to do was go and look at the parents. And of course the father wasn't there. So you, we have to judge the, the kids based on who was there. And it was the mom. I had a homeboy, his, his mama was, he was so hard. His mama had life in prison. Like that's how deadly she was. And we don't talk about these situations where these young black kids are coming up where the mom is unstable, the mom has got different dudes in and out the house. You know, it's always praising the women that are doing very well. And of course, I think that's also very great. You know, you do have moms out there who are doing a yeoman's job and I can respect that. But what that what, what, what happens is, is that the good moms get celebrated so much that the bad moms attach to that good celebration. And what happens is that somebody like her gets to celebrate based on that because you still can't criticize her even though what she did is negligent and is stupid as hell and is dumb as hell because we know that if that was a man we would have a problem with it and the reality is is that we have to call it out black mothers are not perfect no matter how much we want them to be perfect i know we want to make black fathers terrible and make black women the you know the messiah figures of black america but it's it's just not always the case right there are mothers who do not care about their kids you know we can see the test scores and we can see the behavioral problems that some of these kids have and we can see that these kids are not being a lot of times raised to the standards to be able to compete in the economy to compete in social circles or whatever even in relationships with other people they're just not there and then we want to sit there and act like well, you know, the mom didn't have anything to do with it. It was always the men. And again, that could be true that the men could have played a part in that. But now when we see situations like this, we want to sleep underneath the rug. And there are a lot of kids in black America growing up in uh, less than stellar circumstances. You know, the mom just don't care about them. The mom is leaving the kids with the grandma. The mom is leaving the kids by themselves. 
And we want to act like, and then if the kids end up becoming somehow great, she'll be there talking about, you know, how she did that when really she didn't do nothing. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Would you follow the Discovery the Bell? We're out. <laughs>